Hello guys, this is Ansab and you are watching Dev Ansab YouTube channel. So today I am going to tell you how you can install a SSD in your laptop. So I have this Acer Nitro 5 laptop, so which is Nitro AN515-51 model and I have this Western Digital Green 240GB M2 SSD. So I will tell you how to install this in this laptop. And one thing before uh, you buy a SSD, make sure it is supported by your laptop motherboard or your PC motherboard. So basically they are, uh, there are three types of SSD. One is normal SSD, SATA SSD which looks like a uh, hard drive which is of 2.5 inch and other one is SATA M.2 SSD and other is uh, M.2 NVMe SSD and in my laptop all three types of SSD are supported but uh, I'm going to install this because this is one of the cheapest SSD I could get because I am low on budget <laughs> so let's start so uh, make sure your laptop is uh, properly shut off and shut down and uh, uh, there is uh, no external media is connected to your laptop and also make sure there is no power uh, uh, charger is connected to your laptop and after that you are good to go and just turn your laptop upside down okay and you see we have several screw here so we have to open them first uh, I am going to remove this uh, panel these two panels this one is for HSD and this is for RAM so let's start removing the so I think this uh, hard drive is uh, let me show you properly the screw of hard drive are uh, connected with the panel so I think I have to remove them also some additional work start removing these many screw okay so carefully Now count all this 1, 2, 3, 12, 13, 14, and 15. So, all the 15 screws are out. You can see, put it there, and then gently remove this panel from sides. Okay.
okay now this side left gently remove the cover okay from there from back also finally <sighs> and <clears throat> if your laptop is old you can also clean it as you can see it is open for the first time in two years so I think I should clean my laptop first so I have cleaned up my laptop and till now all things went fine you really think that all things went fine no what happened I took this SSD tried to install in this slot and then I noticed that this SSD screw installation screw is missing it should have been provided by laptop manufacturer by the ASR but it is not provided and also it is not provided by the Western Digital so what I did, I took some of these screws at my home and tried to fix this in it one by one but this all were even the, the tiniest of this was very large for this hole and I don't know what kind of special screw they use for this mounting so can you believe I had to create this special screw by myself using all these tools you can see this so by the way now this screw is working fine and now what you have to do is take this SSD and put it in the slot like this and push it little bit and fine you can see the beauty is inside our motherboard and now tight this screw okay so man, I have to create this screw by myself just do not apply much pressure onto the motherboard okay fine and now all looks good you can see all looks good and now place this panel back okay so do not apply much pressure just very gently put it back like this okay just very gently and now you can check from the sides and it should not be like this okay it should fine for any check for any missing okay now all looks fine Let's install our hard drive.
and now let's start our laptop actually my laptop sorry <laughs> and open the bios setting by pressing f2 and now you can see there the hdd0 which is wd s240 which is 240 gb and you can see the hdd1 which is my normal hard drive so this is my ssd and this is my hsd and now let me show you the benchmark of my ssd so first i am going to benchmark my hard disk which is of 1 terabyte so you can see this is hard my hard disk and let me perform a benchmark okay benchmark now so i am performing read benchmark only start benchmark marking and you can see the average read rate is is about 90 mb or let me let it complete so my hard disk is 93.5 mb per second okay the benchmark speed and now i will benchmark my 240 gb ssd so first select my ssd from here and benchmark okay start benchmark start and now for read and write as you can see the average read rate is 523 megabytes per second which is more than 5 times so i think this budget ssd is really really good because like uh, i got it for about uh, 3300 and 523 mbps is really a good speed so guys if uh, this video helped you in any way then please like uh, this video share this video with your friends and subscribe to my youtube channel please subscribe guys so bye see you in next interesting video